Hi all, welcome to another RP tutorial video. And thank you so much for your help and support in subscribing my channel and liking my videos and you know uh, putting proper comments uh, in in video. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic, which is what is SIT. So SIT is all about system integration testing. Okay, so here I will show you you like you know being a RPA developer or if you're working in a RPA, so you must know these things. Okay. So it will help you to move forward in your career. So those who are very new to this channel, I would request you to kindly subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. So like, you know, once I upload any new video and next time, so you will get the notification of that video. And uh, if you're looking for a RPA project supports or RPA training or RPA a project development, so you can contact us at like mention mail ID, which is rpa.developer one at gmail.com so i would be happy to help you or in case if you have any other query or if you need any help in terms of rpa so you can go ahead and mail me at this id all right so now let me move to the next slide so what is sit or system integration testing so you you can see the definition which i have given so basically this definition i have got from the google so by seeing the definition you can understand so here you have to perform some testing to check the system's behavior to complete certain tasks, right? So here, like, you know, I mean, so in RPA, what it is happening, once your bot is completed, so let's say you are developing a bot, uh, so you have to use the development environment, right? So there you, you have to complete your development. So while developing your bot, you have to interact with like, you know, many applications, okay? And uh, like uh, for that, like you need the access, so in case if you are using an email to send email or receive emails or you are you are working with the SAP or the web based applications or Excel or Outlook, whatever you are using. So those things you can access only once you have the access, right? So so proper authentication is needed. Okay. So so like uh, okay, once let's say everything is fine for you and you got the access and you completed your development and your body is running perfectly fine in your dev environment okay so you may aware you cannot run a bot in dev environment for long time right so that only we can use to complete the development so once your bot is complete completely uh, developed then you have to move that bot into the you know bot runner so you can run that bot runner you can use that bot runner to run your bot okay so before moving your bot into the bot runner so you have to check certain things right so, so what needs to be done in system integration testing? So this is the question, right? So what, what action we need to perform in this particular, like, you know, SIT stage. Okay. So here, like uh, you have to first, like, you know, check, check for the like dependency system dependency. And another thing guys, like, uh, you know, the, the details, which I'm going to uh, uh, discuss here in this, this uh, video, it's all about like a you know, very common discuss. Okay. And this is like, you know, most of the, information it will be you'll get common in your projects as well and some some things i will use some information i will use like you know which will be related with the sap and other stuff okay so all right so so what you have to do like you know you have to first check the system dependency you have to check the other details like email okay so let me go to the automation anyway so first start with the automation anyway then we'll move to the other things so this is like you know currently my bot developer system so once you logged into the system so like uh, you know when, once your bot move from like dev to a bot runner okay this sit environment so there you'll have the bot runner you'll not have this all this authorization to create record these things so you'll have only run okay so you can only run the bot from there so so here we have to check some information which is first we have to go to the options okay so once you go to the options you'll have some informations so first like you know you have to check the login settings okay so this is like you know uh, this login settings is all about uh like uh, this is like uh, for your auto login things okay so let's say if you're scheduling a bot so so your bot should be able to access your system so let's say your your system is logged off or locked then so if you put the proper details like your username and the password here then your bot wants to schedule your bot it will automatically logged into the system and it will perform the required action so this is the one of the things and another thing is like you know email settings if you go to the email settings you have to put the email details like you know email host 
and like your code details along with the email uh, address and the password right so this will this is this is very important part because in in every bot or whatever projects you are doing a development so you have to be uh, like you know this authentication will be available or like your bot should be able to access your email by reading or sending emails right so so these are like you know currently i'm using the gmail so the port is 465 for your scenario if you're developing a project for a company so port and host name will change so so your it team will be responsible for you know i mean opening this port and giving access to you know interacting with this particular host and port for that particular bot runner okay and another thing is like if you go to the plugins you have to check the like you know plugins are there or not so probably you'll get to know like what are the plugins available for the chrome or the internet explorer right so you can see like these are the plugins which is available okay so so let me close this the next is like you know you have to you have to check like you know i mean once you have this information available so manually or you can you can use your bot to you know send an email or receive an email so probably like you know once you have all the details available however once you run the bot your bot will fail so you can check this you know port accessibility either you can uh, run a bot or you can send an email manually using the outlook application which is available in your bot runner or you can do the telnet also so from telnet also you can check those details all right so now moving to the other uh, things like you know we have to check the extension so let me go to the google chrome if, if you see this is my google chrome so here i am having the automation in your extension is available so let's say you are using a web based applications and you have used the google chrome to complete your development so once your bot will run so your bot will interact with the google chrome right so if the extension will be not available your bot won't be able to capture or perform the required action in the google chrome so this is one of the mandatory part you have to check this and you have to check the other settings also like zoom percentage should be 100 percent okay so these are the basic things if, if it will be not there so make sure you are making these proper changes to run your bot successfully okay now coming to the another part which is like uh, i mean uh, you have to check the microsoft based applications as well like so probably in your process you are using the excel or outlook or other other applications like word right so you have to open and initially if you open the excel or microsoft office first time you'll get some pop-ups right so if you are not handling those pop-ups in your code then it is like you know best practice to uh, go to the excel and look for uh, those details right so probably like you know i mean first time once you open the excel you have to check or like you can make the default settings etc etc right if you're using the sap so let's say you are working with the sap okay so make sure you are checking the prop i mean the uh, the required transaction codes or the layout or the variants whatever you are using it's not only for the sap if you are using any other web based applications as well or the desktop based applications you have to properly check the details wherever you are accessing or whatever you have done using the develop developer system so everything you have to check the same right so in case if if you think something is not there you can connect with your it team or the person who is responsible for providing the access so you can highlight this information right so now another part is like um, if, if you are running a web based applications or using a web based applications so they are also you have to check whether that application is having access to your bot runner or not so probably like you have to put the username and password to logged in and check whether it is accessible from that uh, particular bot runner or not or probably like you know you'll get a error like uh, the the settings or the like you know security reason because of the security reason you cannot access the page okay and the like uh, the last thing is like you know which is is like you know folder access okay so you have to check the like you know require folder access whether you are able to access those folders from the bot runner or not so so these are the like you know i mean uh, common validations or the checkpoints which we need to follow uh, during the sit or the system integration testing so so it's as i said like you know it, it will vary from process to process so here i have discussed the common things which you you should know okay so it will give you the basic idea and you, I mean, once you do these things you will get to know so many things so once this validations will done let's say everything is fine now once you run your bot so probably your bot will run or you'll get an error also your bot will fail also 
so so once you get the error you have to understand why it got error so might be some some reason would be there right let's say you don't have the access for that particular applications or particular folder or so let's say you are keeping an input file in a folder where like you know bot runner is not having access so probably your bot won't be able to open that input file so 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 like that like you know once you run the bot you will get this type of error if you are not getting any error it means everything is fine and you can you can uh, i mean bot will generate the output which you can check and validate whether everything is good so your the it team or the person who is doing this system integration testing will give you the approval for the next step so once you will have the approval once your bot pass from this sit stage then it will move to the uat okay so uat uat is all about like user uh, acceptance testing so in my upcoming video i will uh, discuss about uh, that uh, uat part also so there i will show you uh, along with the you know uh, case study like i will show you the data i mean what are the things we have to follow in uh, during the uat phase okay along with the like uh, a bot and the check checklist okay so this is all all uh, from this sit uh, related video so this request like you know came from so many people and they asked me to create a video on uh, this sit part so i have tried to share my uh, knowledge and best practices in case if you think if i have missed anything or you want to add anything i would request you to kindly go ahead and post in a comment section so uh, that's all uh, from this video i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you to understand how this sit uh, sit things work and thank you so much for watching this video in case if you have any questions any suggestions you are welcome to post in a comment section or you can mail me at rk.developers1@gmail.com thank you guys